Hi, I'm Milo, and today I'm going to make a chess set out of assembled nuts and bolts. So today, Milo and I are making a chess set uh, as his Christmas gift to one of his cousins. And um, we're using uh, hardware, nuts and bolts, to make the pieces. Uh, I had an idea of doing one of these a while ago, and I shared it with Milo. And he thought it would make a great Christmas gift for his cousin who likes chess. It's an awesome opportunity to get a little education and what all the little pieces parts are called, talking about um, bolt size and thread count and the different kinds of nuts and washers and, and all of the different parts. So it just gives them a little foundational knowledge on that. Um, and it's also uh, just a lesson in quality and kind of seeing something through all the way to the end and not sacrificing the way that you want it to turn out just to make it easier or done. So um, I'm super proud of him. He's really uh, stuck it out and uh, he took the idea and ran with it. He designed all the pieces um, and I helped him with uh, finishes and doing the board. Nick started off here with 16 gauge steel, that's one foot square. He used a grinder on the corners and he and Milo sanded the edges and the whole face that's going to become the chessboard. That's nice though. We gotta clean it and then we gotta do our layout. Okay. Sound good? Finally he cleaned it with lacquer thinner in preparation to tape out the design and stain it yeah. with a finish called awesome. Black Magic. Awesome. I'm going to go right back here and clean it with the lacquer thinner. Right? <laughs> I have my little tool set to 3 8 Okay, and I'm going to make a mark at the corners here. You can just barely see that, right? Okay. So what we'll do is we will run our tape lines starting on that 3 8 mark. Got it. Okay? Wow, that's a big piece. Alright. Look pretty good. That way, it has a very big, important role in this project. I love a sharp blade. It does everything for you. Oh, we're just barely on top of it. Oh, okay. So let me trim off the edges, and then we will um, we will press. You like that border on there? Yeah. I think it's going to look fantastic. Dad? Yes? Are you going to take... Are you going <laughs> to cut those off? Yeah, those yeah off? yes, I'm doing it right now. I like that, my own. Casual. Just chilling. Chilling on the chessboard. You know what I'm gonna do, Dad. What? <laughs> so now what? 
Oh, we need to use some of these. So that's creating the other direction of the grid? Yeah. I'm not trying to get it exact exact. I'm trying to make it look exact. And there's a difference, right? Yeah. Like, you and I know, maybe going in this direction, it's, um, it's different. But you don't want a big visual thing that's going to be obvious, right? Yeah. So, we're just going to work it back a little bit to the point where you can't really tell. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Okay. That feels pretty well rubbed. Yeah. It doesn't feel really good. Right? Okay. Now, uh, I think I do the cutting across it. Yes? Yes. I think if I were to do these a lot, I would get a great big transfer tape or contact paper. If I did walk, I just cover the whole thing and then cut. tape ball. <laughs> Every time I've ever made a tape ball, I feel like I'm chucking. Okay, are we ready to spray? Yeah. to do this. Okay, then we gotta start washing. Ooh, that water's been outside for a bit. So the water is what stops the chemical reaction. Believe it or not. It neutralizes the acid. Yeah. And you want the chemical reaction to stop, or it's just not going to stop. Or it's else gonna, it's going to get darker and darker. Well, darker, yes, but it'll also corrode more of the material than you really want it to. It's oh, the back turned out kind of cool, huh? And dark. It does have some fingerprint in it. <laughs> you can see how the oils on your hands mess with it. There we go. You can see that it's clean because the tape is clean. How about that? The tape really holds up well to water. Better than I expected. Milo, we're almost done here. Can you believe it? 
Well, I'm really glad that I just bought a gallon of that finish. It's one of my favorite things in the world, actually. <laughs> my favorite thing in the world, but it certainly does It sure help. is cool, isn't it? Yeah. It smells funny. Yeah. yeah. It smells funny, but... Golly, it looks neat. Okay. I think we're dry enough to go inside. Okay. And we're picking, huh? Yeah, oh, buddy. Yeah. This is gonna be good. Do you love it or what? Yeah. You're gonna have to make yourself yeah. one the next, huh? <laughs> you setting it up? Let me take a look at it. I brought wrenches, Milo, so we could make all those super tight. So what is this stuff? This is boiled linseed oil. And it polymerizes as it cures, which creates a protective coating. It's not unlike what happens on your cast iron pans. And uh, it protects it from the elements. So it's a great steel protectant. It keeps it from rusting. And it sort of gives it a richer color and everything. Look at that. Bed. And it really, it takes hardly any oil at all. So I even rag it back off because if you leave a thick coat on there, it gets gummy. If you do th thin coats, it will, it'll actually harden. Washers. Let's see if you have that, this color. Yeah, um, Whoa, Milo. Check that out. The pizza, please? That's a rook. That's a rook castle. Yep. Yeah. And I don't think, I mean, let's try it a little bit on the back, but unless you really try and scratch, I don't think you're going to... Scratch. ever get the black to come off. Sure. That's the cool thing about this finish is that it's and not... And we finished it on both sides. And yeah. Then... Yeah, and I smeared it. Did you watch me smear it on the edges a little bit? Um, it, uh, it's not paint. That's the whole, that's the whole point. So it won't really, you won't scratch it every time you move a, a piece.
hold it. Yes. Yep. Yep. And then no. And then with your other hand, hold hold the base of the ribbon. Fantastic. Great job. Thanks for helping me. Yeah, of course. Oh, that's cold water. You like how I'm doing that? Uh... Are you going to use that toothbrush? Don't worry, Milo. This is your mom's toothbrush. <laughs> Not. Don't tell her. You know she's right over there. <laughs> oh. Hello. <laughs>